guys! So, today I thought it would be a good idea to show you a full day of eating in the RV. What we actually eat in the RV, what we actually cook, because that's something that I really love is cooking and making new meals and stuff like that. So, I thought I would give you some pretty quick and easy meal ideas today and things that you can make your own in your RV or even at home. So actually, first things first, we just woke up and it's time to make some coffee. So I've been trying out like a pour over coffee method. We do have our espresso maker, but sometimes we just don't want to run the generator just to make a coffee. So instead of buying like a whole pour over coffee kit and spending money on it before I knew if we'd like it, I just grabbed a funnel and a coffee filter and I'm kind of doing like a <laughs> really, really janky pour over coffee method. So good news is, is that it's worked out pretty good so far and I think we're going to be investing in the actual pour over coffee kit. But anyways, this is working for now. Let's get on with breakfast. Alrighty, so breakfast this morning, super easy. This is one of our go-tos like literally all the time. Poached eggs on toast. And it makes it super easy because we have this weird pan that's actually the best thing in the world. You put your little eggs in here and then underneath there's water in here that will steam and it'll steam your eggs and make the perfect poached eggs. And then of course we don't have a toaster so we're just toasting our bread on this little griddle. Let's get to it. for a couple minutes and they're ready. It's hard to tell when they're ready but I just like poke them and see if they're like <laughs> squishy enough. Oops. Oh I didn't spray it. So they're supposed to be cuter than that but I forgot to spray them. <laughs> <laughs> well good news is they're put cooked perfectly. Bad news is, it's not ready for Instagram. So, we've got our yummy coffee and breakfast. Wanna take a bite? Tell me how it is. Yeah, this is a classic meal for us. I mean, you always have bread on hand for sandwiches and everything. Eggs are multi-purpose. Together, they make a nice staple breakfast while RVing. And quite healthy as well, so pretty happy with this. Let's see what we have for lunch later. So we just finished Alicia's yummy eggs and toast classic breakfast. We have the generator rolling to get that battery back from the furnace. But I think Alicia might have spotted fish from the dinette. Let's go check out the water real quick here. It's so clear. Oh my goodness, it is. There's five fish. Look at this, guys. What? How crazy is that? What are those? I should know this. Oh, spooked them. How crazy is that? We were just having breakfast in our RV back there. The lake is just down below us, but it's such clear crystal blue water there that we saw those five red fish. Man, that was awesome. Alrighty, so we're just out and about for a walk here and we actually saw a sign on the welcome board where they say that they actually stocked the lake with kokanee. Mm-hmm, 5,000 apparently. Yeah, I didn't actually know that they did that. I thought that they would only stock with the rainbow trout, but they did the rainbow trout and kokanee here. That's so cool. It's cool. We, we've seen them again. You can just see them out the window always. It's so cool to watch them swim around. This water is crystal clear. We love it. Anyways, we're going to head back to the RV now and it's lunchtime. So I decided to make a sushi bowl. So it's another kind of one of our classics. It's more of like a summertime dish, but we love it so much we'll make it year round. So yeah. Delicious and nutritious at least. Alrighty, so sushi bowl here is ready to go. Really this requires very little cooking. 
just a bunch of like cutting veggies and stuff like that. I just cooked our sushi rice earlier and let it um, kind of cool down before we started this just because I don't want a warm sushi bowl. I'd rather it be cold rice. And I'm just going to add to the bowls cucumbers in mine, not in Luke's. Luke doesn't like cucumbers. Ew. Everybody make fun of them. It's okay. Um, <laughs> some sliced carrots. Some really thinly sliced green onions. Oh, one second. I just realized I forgot the most important ingredient in this whole thing. One sec. Aha! The avocado. Now you're going to want to make sure your avocado is dead first, so cut it thoroughly through all of its vital organs. Don't say that. Alright, avocado in. Alright, and then we're going to add some, I just chopped up some imitation crab with mayo and a bit of cream cheese, so that looks really good, and we're going to put that in the bowl as well. Okay, and then, well, not the last thing. Second to last thing, I'm going to add some chopped up cashews and sesame seeds. It's kind of like a weird thing to put into a sushi bowl, I think, but we had it once in Bali in our poke bowl. We had some nuts, and it was so good. So you got to try it. All right, and now the last thing I'm going to add is a bit of soy sauce on top. Makes it really like a sushi bowl and so yummy. All right, and that's it. Sushi bowl is complete. So it's almost time for dinner here actually. It's gotten a lot darker. It's actually pitch dark already at dinner time. Wonderful. I was just working on a new painting. I'm actually like really proud of this because usually when I start a painting I'll give up halfway and decide it's never gonna work but this one still needs a lot of work, especially in the foreground, but I'm actually happy with how it's turning out. So that's exciting. So for dinner tonight, we're actually running out of a lot of ingredients and I kind of had to use my imagination to decide what to make, but we're going to kind of have breakfast for dinner, kind of. I'm going to make like a ground turkey vegetable hash with a fried egg on top. It's going to be delicious. First thing I gotta do here is actually like half cook the potatoes to make the hash browns. So I'm just gonna throw them in the microwave for a few minutes, which means I'll have to turn the generator on. If you don't wanna turn the generator on, you can boil them and then like really dry them off after, but I find it's easier to just kind of cook them in a dry environment like the microwave, and then you're ready to put them in the frying pan.
we are with Alicia's delicious dinners. Talk about some good meals we've had today. We're gonna settle into dinner here now. We're gonna watch the Netflix series we downloaded and have been binging, Blown Away. It's glass blowing. That's not something you see every day. Oh, guys, our sour cream's frozen. Oh. We've had our fridge set to the coldest setting since it hasn't been working proper. When we parked it on the angle, everything's good now, but when we run the generator a lot, I think it must switch over to power mode, give it a little extra juice on the coldest setting. Our sour cream is a little frozen on us right now. And the butternut squash was frozen actually earlier too, so we've had some things freeze it. Might have to put that down to the second setting again. <laughs> ah! Who eats like that? <laughs> All right, hello and good morning from the next day, guys. So, we're basically ready to head out here. Didn't do any real fishing, it was kind of a colder one up on the high elevations here, but we enjoyed getting out in the woods again. Beautiful campsite, and it was kind of nice to get out of the city hustle and bustle. Alicia's got the new video edited up and ready to post for you guys, so we're gonna be heading into town pretty soon here. I think the next video is gonna be a bit of day in the life RVing in a city. We're gonna go to Kelowna, do a bit of shopping, take advantage of being near a town. Before we pack up and leave though, I saw one of those little kokanee fish cruising along the surface out here and I figured my rod was already set up, I might as well take a few casts. Well, that's enough of that guys. Gonna head back to the RV here now, but how about that, hey? When you can see a beautiful red fish in crystal clear waters with almost a bluey green tint. This is such a cool spot. I can't wait to visit all these spots again in the summertime, hopefully. Just wanted to say a huge thanks to all of you guys for subscribing and tuning in to the videos too. It's great you guys are enjoying the content. Thank you for tuning in and we look forward to making more videos for you still in the winter to come here. Before we hit the road, gotta climb up and put the slide back in again though. So to the roof we go guys. to make our way to Kelowna here. But before we leave the provincial park, we want to check out the more northern, I think, campground. Right now we're at the Alien Lake campground and there's actually one just above the lake as well. So we're gonna go check that out before we head out. I don't want to leave this place. We have to, Alicia. Duty calls. Hmm. The viewers need us.